Good morning. My name is Betty, and I'm a docent at the Cincinnati Art Museum. Welcome to Can Look. At 10 o'clock every weekday, a staff member or volunteer will be here to share an object from our permanent collection and post questions for discussion. So join us for each new Can Look. Have you had the chance to check out the Folk Art Gallery at the museum on the second floor? There are many different kinds of art there, so you might ask, just what is folk art? Well, it is typically art that has been done by self-taught or minimally trained artists, just folks. It, they typically aren't creating the mainline art of their time period, but look for inventiveness, improvisation, and simplification. Now look high up on the wall. On a shelf, you will see a red fox made by woodcarver Minnie Atkins with help from her grandson, Greg. The fox is typical of Minnie's whimsical, tongue-in-cheek carvings of barnyard and woodland animals. I think Minnie really captures that chicken-thieving reputation that foxes have among country folks. Minnie was born in rural Kentucky during the Great Depression. With money so tight, the family had to make everything they wanted. Her father gave little Minnie a pocket knife, an unusual gift for a girl. Minnie immediately began to turn out slingshots, bows and arrows, and other toys, and she has never stopped carving since. Minnie married her husband Garland when she was only 18. Like many Appalachian families, they moved to Dayton, Ohio in the 1960s to seek better jobs, but then returned to Kentucky in 1983. While in town for errands one day, Minnie stopped by an art gallery and mentioned to the owner that she was a carver. He asked her to bring in some of her pieces, and when he saw them, he took her on immediately. She was featured in an influential book on Appalachian artists, and then her reputation really took off. Minnie's art is now in the National Gallery of Art and the Smithsonian in Washington and the American Folk Art Museum in New York. And even stars like Oprah Winfrey and Barbara Streisand own Minnie's work. Her carving is often a collaborative affair. Her husband Garland would rough out a piece of wood with power tools then Minnie would carve and finish the work. Although Garland died in 1997, their grandson Greg, the local basketball coach, still assists Minnie. Minnie has been a major help to other artists, starting an annual folk art fair in Moorhead, Kentucky, called A Day in the Country, where over 50 folk artists sell their wares directly to collectors. She has also branched out to showcase her animals in other media, like quilts and children's books. If you visited Minnie today at her peaceful valley farm, you'd find her sitting in her recliner with a towel in her lap to catch shavings and her pocket knife in her hand. She is 86 years old now, but still works six days a week and has carved over a hundred sculptures during the COVID lockdown. If you can't visit Kentucky, come visit Minnie's Red Fox in Gallery 219 at Camp. So now I have questions. What do you think of folk art? Do you like it? How would you compare Minnie's carvings to other things in the CAM collection? Add your thoughts in the chat below. 